Okay, good Saturday morning. We are headed out on a training hike. And this is Piedra Lisa Trail, which is at the northwest end of the Sandias. We're heading it up to right between those peaks. So let's go. We are training today for a backpacking trip, a multi-day backpacking trip. We have coming up in eight weeks. We really need to get some elevation training in. And this trail is perfect for that. The beginning of the trail, the first half mile, is just nice rolling hills. Then you start turning uphill. There's a few people on the trail today. As I said, we're headed up right up there. After that easy first half mile, you then turn for a two mile uphill, which gains over 1,200 feet in elevation. It's really a butt burner. Having fun? Yeah, keep going. And we get. This rock formation in front of us is called the shield. I guess it sort of looks like the top of a shield. But our trail heads down right here and then it's going to go back up over that way. This is a side trail right here. A little bit of a sign there. And this is a movie trail. Actually back, I think it was in the 1960s, Kirk Douglas filmed a movie here. And you can watch it on YouTube. It's called Lonely Are the Brave. And it's set right here in the Sandia Mountains. It's very cool because they use shots of La Luz Trail, the Crest Trail, and this trail, Pedro Lisa. So for the most part, this trail is shady, which is really nice. But the way it sits, you don't get a lot of breezes. So in the summer, even though it's shady, it can get really hot. But it's a nice wide trail, very easy to follow. A lot of people will use it every day. This is a great training hike because of the varied terrain. You have rocky areas like this one, and then you have straightaways with um, steep gravelly surface, so you have to watch your footing. There's just a little bit of everything on this trail. My nickname for this trail has been the Devil Stairmaster. And the reason for that is these uphills. It's just a constant drone of pushing up like you're going upstairs. We're getting closer. Yeah, 
just gorgeous. Doing good? Yeah, doing good. Almost there. Getting closer. See, see the city and everything from here. Things on peaks. On the trail. Goes this way a little while. Before we cut back right over there. We've got a couple of switchbacks to go. So our hike started down there, that dirt road. Parking lot's down there. And we're all the way up here now. Almost to the top. The last half mile is a grueling set of switchbacks that are rocky and steep, steep, steep. It's really a butt burner and you will feel it the next day after hiking this trail. picking up a little. So nice out there. What junction is this, Robin? Huh? What junction is this? So we're at the top and we're looking for a nice shady spot to sit and fix lunch. Hmm, the problem is shade. I think we might have to sit in the sun, babe. And I'll just sit in the shade by myself. Oh, you found a spot? So what is for lunch today, Chef Ron? I don't remember, I have to get it out of the bag. You have to wait just a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna try another taste test. We have Alpine Three cheese chicken pasta. Three cheese chicken pasta. Sounds delicious and I'm starving. How much water does that one use? One and a half cups. One and a half cups. Okay, let's do it. Well, it's taste test time. 
Alpine Air Three Cheese Chicken Pasta. How's it look? Looks good. Mm. It does look kind of good. Mmm. You could probably eat that one. Mm hmm. It's like a little rollatini pasta with vegetables. Got some broccoli. Oh. Got some zucchini. I got some all over your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So the verdict is not bad. Not bad. Not bad. It's not gourmet, but it uh, it's definitely something I could eat on a hiking trip. Fill you up. It's mostly pasta with some small diced up vegetables, carrots, zucchini. Broccoli. A little bit of broccoli. It would definitely give you the calories for a dinner 300 calories per serving and two and a half and a yeah so and it makes healthy servings i mean that bag was full so it would definitely work for two people boy the birds up here on top are talking about something Get away from my nest. <laughs> so next I'd like to try one of the new ones we just got. What was it? Um, this was one of the new ones. No. The new one is the... Um, oh. I just blindly reached into the thing. You're lucky you didn't get chicken teriyaki. <laughs> I would be angry because we've had that several times before. Um, I don't remember. Peak something. Peak refuel. So we'll try that brand next. We bought several of those. But we will check them out. I'm anxious to see how they are because they also use less water which is a big deal hiking here in New Mexico because, ta-da, we're living in the desert. So we have less water sources for the most part on any backpacking trip. You, so you have to conserve your water. So it's nice to have a meal that you can cook that uses half as much water. This was not quite half. This was, yeah, this was one and a half cups instead of two, like mm -hmm. the Mountain House. So, an improvement, but we'll take, try the Peak Refuel next next time, and... Uh, Most of those, I think, only take eight. Yeah, eight ounces, so... Okay, I think our break's about over, and we'll be heading back down. Looks like... He's white. Yeah, I see him. He's huge. I don't know what that is. Black wing tips. Straight beak. Yeah. There's another one up there. There's another one somewhere. Same oh. tree. Well, wow. I don't know what those are. A whole flock of those birds just flew up. We have no idea what they are. And they're coming in here right now, sitting in these bare trees. What in the heck are those? God, there's more and more. I think we're going to head south, too. We just got to head back to our trailhead down this way. 
tying his shoes up for the downhill. Yeah, I don't want to pop any toes. <laughs> oh, nails. And that's looking directly north to the town of Placidas. And we're going to be heading back this way to the big city of Albuquerque. This is the north end of the Sandia Mountains. The part you can't see from the city of Albuquerque. And it's blocked by the shield, which is that big point right there. And here's our marker for the top of Piedra Lisa Trail. And here's our down. Wind is starting to kick up. dozens of other hikers today. Several of them had on backpacks and were doing training hikes like us. There was even one guy we saw with his dog who said he was training for a through hike. We didn't stop to chat to find out what through hike he's doing, but this is definitely the trail in the Sandias that people like to use for training for things like that. You get great elevation in a short period. I mean, it's less than two and a half miles to the top with 1,200 feet elevation gain. You really get a good workout on this trail. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more adventures. We have lots of camping and hiking and like I mentioned before, we have some backpacking trips coming up. It should be pretty exciting. We'd love to have you along. So, as I always say, get out there and hug a tree. And thanks for watching.